Hey everybody, Motorport 59 here. I was watching some clips of some newscasts uh, earlier today and I saw a couple of uh, Mitt Romney being booed at a GOP event in uh, Salt Lake City. I'm not sure what it was for or about. They really didn't talk about it. I saw the first clip off Fox News so I uh, dug around and found one off of CNN and the, you know, the story that they put behind it was was so different, it was, it was funny. Everybody knows that Mitt Romney didn't like Donald Trump and talked a lot of smack about him uh, while he was president and, and continues to do so for some reason. Trump's not president anymore. But uh, uh, the uh, liberal slant of it was the division in the GOP, which they're right about. They're absolutely right about that. And the conservative slant is, what's wrong with this guy? And they're right, too. They're absolutely right. What's wrong with this guy? Um, as far as being booed, I, I don't know what he expected. Uh, the guy, I guess he was the MC of the event. I don't know who he was. Some short guy. <laughs> I don't know who he was. I didn't. I just watched the clips. I didn't watch the whole thing. I really wasn't that interested. Uh, but my the, the guy came to the mic and said, come on, a little respect, a little respect. And my question to him is, what do you expect? This is a man that did everything he could. A Republican, a, a conservative, who did everything he could to divide the GOP during the administration of Donald Trump. He wasn't the only Republican who did that, but he was the highest profile one, in my opinion, that was going to those extremes. There were other rhinos that had this to say and that about him, but they didn't dig at him the way Mitt Romney did, and uh, I just, I don't know what people expect. Mitt Romney is no longer popular in the true conservative movement of the GOP. Like I said, the rhinos, I, I did a whole piece about rhinos a while back, I'm going to go back and look at that. I'll uh, link it in the description below. But uh, he did everything he could to divide the party, and uh, it's like today's conservatives have forgotten what Ronald Reagan said. Don't talk crap publicly about another Republican. He could have done it in private. I'm sure Trump would have granted him an audience. Uh, Trump's not thin-skinned. Somebody had something to say. I'm sure he'd have listened. And uh, he probably wouldn't have mentioned it in public. Or Romney could have waited until after the election and Trump lost. Then he could have gone about talking smack about him. But the fact is, if the rhinos hadn't made such an issue of things, especially uh, Mitt Romney and a couple of other high-profile uh, Republicans, if they hadn't made such a stink about things, they probably wouldn't have alienated uh, so many independents and so many Republicans, uh, rhino voters, who decided to either not vote and I don't know any Republicans who voted for Biden. I'm sure there were some that won't admit it, but certainly I know quite a few people who simply didn't vote for president. And uh, would it have made a difference? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. But it certainly didn't help things. And the party is still divided because of that. And the boos for Romney are the evidence of that. So uh, I just wish the Republicans would uh, stick together like they did in the 80s. We really haven't had a, a Republican president with that kind of uh, leadership within the party since Ronald Reagan. I don't have a problem with a moderate Republican leader, whether he's a, the president or a, or a congressman or whatever, as long as being moderate gets things done. And that just hasn't been happening for the last 20 years. It's, it's gotten ridiculous. Uh, my point is, it's okay to have a moderate president. Today, Ronald Reagan and Bill Clinton would both be considered centrists. Bill Clinton would never get elected by the Democrat Party today had he run today on the uh, platforms he ran on in the 90s. I've said that in other videos. Uh, that just that would never have happened. He just simply wasn't far enough to the left. He was willing to work with Republicans, and he did. And he and he 
uh, sign good legislation. Ronald Reagan got a lot done. A lot. He accomplished some great things by working with the Democrats, and the Democrats worked with him. That was when people still wanted America to be great. That's when we all still want it to be great. Today, only the true conservatives want to see America great again, and and the, the Democrats just don't care. All they care about is what can the government do for them, and you know my... You know my stance on that. But anyway, what do you think about Mitt Romney? What do you think about the rhinos? And what do you think about the division in the Republican Party that these people have created that have weakened us so terribly? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Shoot me an email at motorpoet 59 at gmail.com. Like, share, subscribe. Click on the bell if you want to be notified of future content. We'll see you all later.